subscribers um thank you very much for coming to watch the channel i don't know if i should keep my glasses off or on um honestly i might just go with on i don't know today is going to be an interesting video today you know we are going to be doing an accessories video my name is tessie i do videos on my lifestyle um, luxury hauls, relationship talks, black women, women in general, trending topics, and whatever I feel like. <laughs> so yeah, today we are actually going to be doing a luxury accessories collection. Well, not really collection, just my most favourite purchases for like my luxury accessories for 2023 because i just realized we are more than halfway through 2023 isn't that crazy that's nuts that's nuts that's really disturbing as well so yeah i said we're gonna do that today so because my the past couple of videos has been mad heavy i just need to do something else i need to talk about something else so um yeah and i love fashion guys i'm a i'm very i used to be a fashion influencer i just deleted my instagram it had like 22,000 followers on it and i actually used to have brand deals on my instagram i used to actually partner with brands um and one of the you know some of the major brands i used to partner with was zaffo rose girl um i think i even got like an offer from sheen like a couple of years ago i don't even know if it was sheen or if it was someone else but um yeah so today we are going to be doing my favorite luxury accessories of 2023 what well, I've purchased. Some of them have been purchased and some of them have been bought for me. So yeah. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk, the first thing I'm gonna say that I really, really liked wearing that I really really like is actually this. Um, this is a Stella McCartney and Adidas collab. I got it from Adidas. No, actually, I got it from Harrods. So I'm going to link all the stuff that I'm going to be putting in this video. I'm going to link it all so you guys can go and take a look if you want, if you fancy. But yeah, I basically got this. Um, I got this in um, Harrods. It is quite sexy. It's supposed to be like workout gear. You zip it up, zip it down. But yeah, it's quite sexy. <laughs> you can zip it up. You can see, but I tend to not zip it up because it just never stays up. So yeah, if I do zip it up, it does look a little bit like that. So yeah, I tend to like try and zip it up a little bit. But anytime I try to zip it up, it, it just falls out. It's nuts. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it. We're just going to go like this. It's fun to have some cleavage sometimes. <laughs> so this is the first one. It's Stella McCartney and Adidas, the collab. And I just really liked it. I just thought it was beautiful. You can actually see it here, Stella McCartney and Adidas. Then the next thing that I really enjoyed, that I really liked this year was my Gucci. Uh, this is like a face shimmer. So essentially it's like face gloss. It is very, very heavy. I think it's like 18 pounds on the website. So it's not expensive. And actually my baby, my fiance, Greg, he bought this for me. Uh, I think beginning of the year. Yeah, something like that. Um, he got that for me. And I just use it very sparingly because it's actually incredibly... It's one of those things where a little bit goes a long way. <laughs> a little bit goes a long way. Yeah. Um, and then also, my other 
Gucci accessories because I really like Gucci. I really love Gucci. I use Gucci a lot. Is my um, I think this is like primer and my uh foundation. Now I'm a huge fan of Gucci makeup, just Gucci accessories in general. I just love Gucci makeup. It makes me feel really good. It's what I'm wearing now. So yeah, I just really, really enjoy Gucci makeup. Then I've got my Mac. So this was actually bought for me by my mum. And yeah, I like it, but I don't use it regularly because it just makes my face feel heavy. I don't know how to explain it. It just makes me feel heavy, okay? So yeah, I don't use it regularly. Um, it's definitely something that I use every once in a while. I am a huge fan of The Ordinary, guys. I am a very big fan of The Ordinary. So I have a couple of ordinary, um, a couple of ordinary stuff here, products. So this is my Salic... Salic cyclic acid solution and this is basically to like help with spots breakouts because I have hormonal acne and it, I can break out sometimes when I'm on my when it's my time of the month and then I also have um I, I have a lot of ordinary <laughs> I have a lot of ordinary products this is like not even half of it um I have something called nias, niacinamide so this is also to help you it's like a mineral blemish formula um it basically helps you with your skin as well so it's another skincare product and then i have another ordinary <laughs> oh my gosh so this is hold on let me put it here this is virgin chia seed oil so this is i have a lot of oils i've got a lot of oils for my hair i have you know, I like my natural hair. It's quite thick. So, yeah, I have a lot of oils for my natural hair. And then I've also got this. This is like, I've actually got two of these. I can't find the other one. I've got Ordinary Concealer. Um, so, yeah, that's what I use for, like, my concealer. Um, but, yeah, I've got the Ordinary Concealer. It's really, really good. Um, so, yeah, moving on. Some other accessories that I really, really like. Um, so, this. I think was bought for me by my sister. I honestly don't know. That girl has very good taste. <laughs> she has very good taste. There was a day where we went out to uh, House of Fraser and we spent like a thousand pounds just on pure makeup. It was nuts. Um, so yeah, uh, here is, I think it's called Eco Tools. I have no clue. I've, I've, I, she bought this for me like a couple of months ago. I've never, I haven't used it yet. So it's like a brush kit essentially. Yeah. It's really nice. It's really, really nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> then these eyelashes, these MAC eyelashes are really nice. They're one of my favourites. I actually like wearing them when I go out. So like recently I went out with my sister um, in central London and I wore these and they're just, they just make your eyes pop. They're great. Great, great, great. Then actually another one of my favourite watches, um, Accessories is actually the watch I'm wearing currently. I don't know if I can show it to you guys. Can you see it? Can you see it? So yeah, this is actually, I love this watch. It's, I think it's a Seconda. Yeah, it's really nice. It's just, it's just one of my favorites. It's just great. It's just classy, but not too much. And at the same time, I don't need to be worried about being mugged on the street. Not, you know, like all those people who wear Rolexes and then basically have to cover their uh, <laughs> cover their arms as soon as they get mugged <laughs> yeah i'm not trying to be like that and um, people's look people's rolexes are getting mugged and not only that people are actually watching what you're wearing and then following you home so they can mug you later on at night it's not okay so moving on my next favorite accessory of 2023 is this i got this recently like um i think like four months ago yeah, I got this recently. This is the off-white belt, the industrial classic off-white belt. I also got this from Harrods. I get a lot of things from Harrods. I get a lot of things from Harrods. Harrods, I had a reward card. And I, was, I, I can't remember what member I was. I moved from green to like orange or brown or red. I can't remember. And then I lost it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I shop a lot on Harrods. I love Harrods a lot. 
Um, I always have fun every time I go to Harrods, so yeah. Um, yeah, the off-white industrial belt, one of my favourites. I wore it when I went to see G's mum for the first time, and it was very nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the next one is actually this, my Gucci socks. So, oh gosh, yeah. Honestly, I don't wear these much. And I'm mad because I wore them and there's like a hole. They're really, they're really fragile. I wore them, I wore them once and there's a hole. Please don't buy Gucci socks. Like it's, I, I really wouldn't advise you to do it. There's a hole. Oh God. A whole hole. A hole. <laughs> there's a hole. There's a hole in a, in a, in a pair of 90 pound socks. I don't know how much that is in dollars, but it's like over a hundred dollars for a pair of socks. It's nuts. So how can I have a hole in over a hundred dollars for a pair of socks? Nonsense. I bet get out. Rubbish. Nonsense. 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 Then the next one I really liked was this. So this is like my Supreme bum bag. And yeah, I just carry it out when I'm traveling. It's really cute. It's denim. I saw it on the Supreme website and I was just like, oh, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. I gotta have it. So yeah, saw it, love it, got it, bought it, have it. <laughs> so yeah, I had to get that. So I got it. What can I say? Um, and then the next one I really liked was my DKMY. Now this is also another bum bag, which is really good because since I'm traveling to Poland, I'm going to be using a lot of bum bags. I like bum bags when I'm traveling because it just, I don't like to carry handbags with me all the time when I'm traveling. So yeah, this is really nice. It's DKMY. Um, I don't really have much DKMY. I think this is literally the only DKMY I ever had in my entire life. I'm not really a huge fan of the brand. So yeah, I'm not a huge fan of DKMY. So, yeah. But I love that bum bag. And red is also my favorite color. So Okay, and I think we're coming up to the end. Finally, this, I've actually, I've actually just sold this. I only, look, guys, I never fucking put the tag on. I just sold this. I just sold this recently, like a couple of, in fact, I don't even think the sale has finished yet, but I'm literally about to like ship this out. But yeah, this is a really, really gorgeous bag. Um, it's not an accessory, it's a bag. It's guess, but it literally looks, if you see inside, it looks, it's got like a Gucci pattern inside. I think it's like 165 pounds. Like it's not even that bad. I don't know if I can find this on, um, I don't know if I can find this on the website because honestly, it was like a limited edition thing and they always just disappear after a while. But yeah, it's beautiful. Really, really, really nice. Super, super, super stunning. And you can see, the inside, the actual, can you hear that? <laughs> so yeah, this, I love this bag. And also I love like the little rock studs underneath. Like it's, it's just one of my favorite. It's just one of my favorite. It's really, really nice. I don't, I think it's like skate, snake, snake pattern or something like that. But yeah, it's, it's nice. I love it. It's one of my favorites. So yeah, that's it. That's it really. Um, That's just some of my favorite accessories of 2023 okay what is that on my laptop okay <laughs> now i can actually take off my glasses because i couldn't see anything oh guys i'm so blind without my glasses like i can literally not see without my glasses it's so bad even even as i'm talking to you now everything's just shapes and colors you might think i can see you i can't see you but yeah um essentially those are my favorite purchases of 2023 and well, luxury purchases of 2023. I have a few others, but I didn't want this video to be too long because if I bought every single thing that I've got this year, it would be a lot. This video would be like triple this, triple the length it is now. And I try not to make my videos go over 40 minutes. But guys, I just wanted to have like a quick chat on top of this, it's just like a couple of minutes. I don't know about you guys, but do you not think that fashion is quite sexist and gendered? 
I don't know. I've always felt like that. So, like, if a woman buys expensive things, she's called frivolous, materialistic, and consumerist. But if there are literally men out here having whole luxury watch community pages on Instagram, buying, spending tens of thousands of pounds on people's salary on freaking hoblet watches, protect watches, buying, um, you know, Lamborghinis that are just pouring emissions into the air, buying tons of very expensive Tom Ford shoes. Nobody says anything about them. No one calls them frivolous. They're seen as inspirational, amazing. But when it comes to women buying luxury stuff, oh my God, you're so frivolous. You're wasting money. Oh my God, you're so consumerist. Bearing in mind, we're not buying fast fashion things because I'm not a huge fan. I hate fast fashion. I was an influencer and I used to receive a lot of free things. And, you know, half of the things I received, I didn't even end up using them. I ended up either selling them or giving them away. And guys, when I tell you the amount of things I used to receive, like I had a six months contract with some of the brands and it was nuts. It was nuts. I deleted my Instagram now because um, I don't really feel like I need it anymore. I'm in a different place in my life and I'm just ready to move past Instagram, essentially. Um, I don't really feel like I need Instagram anymore. But yeah, I was receiving a ton of stuff. And, you know, I'm not into fast fashion. I don't like fast fashion because it, it it's not good for the planet. When I was a kid, well, not when I was a kid, when I was like 20, 21-ish, during the summer, I actually worked at a cash for clothes. You know, a place where people come to like sell their clothes and the rest of the clothes get donated to people in different countries. A lot of those clothes ended up in like Ghana or Nigeria or somewhere and people didn't even end up buying them or using them. A lot of the people that ended up taking them would end up selling them for even more than what the people in that, in that area could afford or the rest of them just ended up in the landfill it really wasn't a it was it wasn't as great as you know a solution as you think it is which is why I always sell my stuff anytime I don't want something I just get rid of it like the guest bag and I just find it strange how women you know whenever we buy luxury stuff oh you're frivolous oh I would never spend two thousand pounds on a bag oh my god I would never <laughs> like every, they always seem we're always seen as like materialistic I don't give a shit I'll buy whatever I want to buy literally you know but at the end of the day guys out here literal hype beasts are spending thousands of pounds on outfits some of them even spend thousands of pounds on a freaking designer skateboard Something as frivolous as a skateboard. People are out here spending money on supreme skateboards. Hype beasts, who are usually male, by the way, because that's a very male-dominated space. And it's just nuts to me that a woman will buy a Chanel bag and then a guy will be like, or someone will post, oh my God, you're so materialistic. Like, check yourself first, honey. Check yourself first, okay? Um, So yeah, that's, that's something that's really annoyed me. I feel like the luxury fashion space is very gendered and it's just another way to try and stop women from enjoying what they want to do with their lives if a woman wants to spend money on a design handbag and she's got the money she can do it if she wants literally simple as that um so yeah i mean as long as men are out here spending ridiculous amount of money you know on silly little watches and cars and stuff like that then a woman can be out here buy a handbag or whatever the hell she wants to buy. It's as simple as that. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. So yeah, that's all I had to say. That's all I wanted to say. Um, but honestly, I feel like I need to like relax now for a couple of weeks from YouTube. I feel like I've made a lot of content. Um, and I'm really grateful for all the new subscribers. I have like, I gain like what, five subscribers every day or so. So like, I'm really grateful. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't checked out my other videos, please don't hesitate to go and check out all my other videos. I have more luxury videos. I've made like a playlist on my homepage to show you different sections of the different types of videos. I've got travel videos. I've got luxury hauls. I've got discussions. I've got lifestyle content. I've got popular videos. I've got shorts. Definitely take your time and enjoy yourself on my channel. So yeah, that's all I've got to say. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you at some point. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Okay. All right. Bye now. Bye.